this video we're going to look over how to record a fixed length loop in song mode on the Deluge. So I did show last time was an arranger. We're simply just going to be using what's called the continuous loop record. So here I have a MIDI track. It's my Elisa Strike. And that's routed MIDI to the strike. And that's going to my mixer, which goes into the line in. So let's listen to it. Okay, so there we go. What I did here, I added an audio clip. In order to do that, you just press anywhere. You press down the settings knob, and then it'll create an audio clip. What we're gonna do is change the, set the length. I want this, let's say I want to record two bars. So that's all set. Make sure everything's unmuted. So in order to do the continuous loop record, I hold down record, and I press the audition button underneath. So just imagine we're just recording to the next track down. Even though we're gonna be touching this one, it's just telling it we're just gonna add a track. So let's just do that and record. Make sure you don't stop it, just let it go. And right here, we're just gonna press play, which stops it. Now this is gonna be blank, so let's hold it down, delete it. And here we are, we have, I'm gonna disable the MIDI, so we're just listening to the Deluge, so press play. Okay, pretty easy. So now I want to, let's say I want to record some piano. So record and then down here, audition button. Done, delete that, press play. Say I didn't like it, just delete that and record again. Okay, great. So let's say we want to record something that's one bar. Go into this track, that empty audio clip track, and just go say one bar. Now we'll just repeat the process. But kind of copied a bunch down, so let's just get rid of those. Now we only have the blank one and then the piano clip. So pretty simple. And that's how you do it. If you want to have maybe four bars, just set it to four bars, go back in here, and then I'm going to change my instrument, and then we're going to play, and then again we're going to hold record, audition pad underneath the track we want to add. So play, again down here, we're going to wait right before this. Stop it, delete, and there we go. It's already set. So that's how you do it, pretty simple.